Hello everyone, I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Here's your political news roundup for Thursday, July 14th. While budget talks between Congress and the White House brought little more than rhetoric on Thursday, new warnings were being sounded about a failure to raise the U.S. debt ceiling. One came from China, the biggest holder of American debt. China urged action on the debt ceiling to protect investors' interests. Meanwhile, Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke was back before Congress today. He told the Senate Finance Committee that failure to raise the debt ceiling would be a financial calamity. This comes less than a day after Moody's Investors Service said it was considering a review and possible downgrade of its U.S. credit rating because of the failure of Washington to reach agreement. We might not get to learn whether former pro baseball pitcher Roger Clemens lied to Congress. The judge in Clemens' case declared a mistrial today. It happened after evidence was introduced that had been previously excluded. Judge Reggie Walton scolded the prosecution for the move. Clemens was charged with lying to the House of Representatives when he testified that he did not take steroids or human growth hormones. There's a hearing set for September 2nd on whether the government can retry Clemens. Today would have been former President Gerald Ford's 98th birthday. It's also the day his wife Betty is laid to rest alongside him in Grand Rapids, Michigan. The former First Lady died Friday at age 93. Mrs. Ford was memorialized at the Gerald Ford Presidential Museum and in church today before heading toward burial. And Republican Rudy Giuliani is saying only that he won't rule out a run for president, but the former New York City mayor is spending the next two days in New Hampshire, site of the first presidential primary in 2012. Giuliani has five public appearances over for today and tomorrow. He says he'll make a decision on a candidacy sometime in August or early September. That's your political roundup for Thursday, July 14th. I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Stay logged on to RTTNews.com for more on these and other political and financial news stories throughout the day.